Hello, it's me again. It's try number three, because the first two went so well, I'm addicted to something new. So, this time I'm going to break what everybody else asked me not to do anymore, black, but that's just, you know, I like black, so I'm going to do black. But this time, I'm going to use pearl and a whole lot of, just a whole lot of colors. That's metallic turquoise. Here's the rest of that beautiful color that I wish I had more of now that I've used it all up. But, fortunately, I have some of my favorite color that I didn't use yet today. And I'm going to dredge that cup out with it. Not that that's going to really work, but it was worth a shot. I'm going to go crazy on the, on the whack, whack out, whacked out colors. And I'm going to try and fill this cup because it worked really well the last time. And I want some more of that because black pops better with orange. And I promised myself I would use, I would try and use some green. The gold has been working out really so nicely. Please don't be all flow draw. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure that's my favorite color combination of the day, but um, we'll work with it. You know what I have? I have this awesome turquoise. I've never seen these together. Ooh, they pop. All of that just makes me want some metallic orange, but I started this thinking it was all going to be mostly pink. <laughs> so much for that. I'm going to float some. Force the rest down to the bottom. Whoops, and onto the canvas, evidently. And I have a little bit of that blue, which never hurt my feelings. And maybe just finish with a little more of that pearl. I don't know. I don't know why I want to put some black in there, because I'm going to do black anyway. But that's okay. Ooh, looks like I forgot the red. Didn't forget the red anymore. All right. Now, what I've been doing is putting a little spot of something on there. I found my, oops, found my missing edge, edge catcher. I'll let that go around. I just like to have a base on the canvas where the color starts. I'd like to know what that lump is. It's probably a flow trawl booger. Oh look, we accidentally made a spiral. How cool is that? That is just, that's just a meant to be thing. I'm spilling all over the place. Okay, that's where it belongs in spite of the mess. I'm going to use plenty, plenty, plenty of paint because my intention is to float this sucker so that the paint that's flowing around will flow above. And I really enjoyed having a lot of negative space last time. I mean, really. Art by Fars did a couple, did one of these, and I did a couple after now that have worked out for me. So if I just loosen the section. Hopefully. Maybe I'll just turn it to loose. Yeah! That's why she turns it. I want it to go under that paint. Come on. Let go. Alright. We gotta go swimming in paint. We'll go swimming in paint. Forward. And back. That thing is stuck fast to the canvas, I want to tell you what. And I want it to go under there, short of poking a hole in it, which is next. There we go. Oh, this is going to be something, I can tell. <laughs> I'm excited. I've been having so much fun with this today. So much. I don't even want to do anything to that. <laughs> I could just leave it right like that and be very happy. All right, I found my shorter edge catcher, which makes me happy. Um, I want to try and do all the corners to this, but I'm not in as big a hurry as I once was to fill everything in. Using my edge catcher to stop the paint, I open it a little bit, squeeze it over the edge, 
covers everything beautifully. I'm going to do it, the same thing over here. There is no silicone in any of this. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to line up my edge catcher paint with my edge catcher. Got a lot of nice gold in this. I love how that's working. I'm gonna let all that paint just go right back. Ooh, I don't want that blue to go away. Darn. All right, well, the solution for that for me, honestly, I just wanna fill in the rest with black. But, you know, I can't do that. And I did clean another edge catcher. And it is certainly not beyond me to do whatever I please. Check that out. That is just beautiful. There's the black. I did not even put the top back on, which is a good thing right at this moment. And so I'm doing my own thing. I'm not doing it like somebody else does it. I'm just going to take my beautiful little Good Grip spatula. Like I said, always, if you can find one of these, they've stopped making them, someone told me. If you can find one, snag it, because it has a nice, flexible edge, nice and thin, nice and soft. Everything just goes right where you want it. I know that paint is thick in there. It was even, I liked it even more a minute ago than I do now, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. you got to try everything, you know? just got to try it. It's so weird. I'm so conscious of being quiet, even if I'm quiet for like 10 seconds, because I know you guys are watching and waiting. I'm going to leave the paint right on there. kind of wish I had white paint up there, because that's really neat looking with that negative space up there. But I'm doing this because I, don't, I do not want to change my pattern. And I can get away with that, because I use GAC 800 by Golden. And an air-conditioned environment to dry my paintings, so I haven't, for, for like a year, I haven't had any trouble at all with cracking of my artwork because of those two things, I think. I might be making an assumption, but I think it's an educated guess assumption. And uh, I always use the GAC 800 because I don't really have any intention on... Yes, I see it. <laughs> Come out of there. Let's just smooth it in and figure it's par for the course. I think, in a second, the spatula that has now coated my edges just perfectly is going to go in the bucket, in spite of the fact that there's plenty of black paint on it that I want to scrape off and use still. Into the bucket. Okay, now, I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at this, and I'm loving it. And I'm loving that turquoise. And I'm having my way because it's just so beautiful. I think, I hope I don't screw it up. I'm just so happy with this. I would like to make all of that go over there and then this way without filling in that whole side, please. Please. And I could spatula it back. And I would like to keep that turquoise, no matter what else I do. That turquoise is making me happy. Yeah, I see that wave of paint. I'm not complaining still, though. I am. I have got a lot of paint on there, no doubt. I think I need to clean my paint tube. Looks like I dropped it in something. <laughs> I bet it was paint. Now it's water. <laughs> okay, that was probably not my my swiftest move right there. But I do have, like I said, wet rags around here. And wet rags will, I don't even see much water there, honestly. Okay, so very carefully.
very carefully, very carefully, not to destroy my absolutely fantastic design. Make it look a little more cohesive, I hope. What do I want to do with that? It's kind of bothering me a little. Maybe that's it. Yep, I think that's it. That'll work for me. This is still a little strange up here. Might be a skewer moment. I don't want to do too much of that. I, I kind of like want to wipe that right out, actually, to tell you the truth. I like it better when there was less of it, but that's okay because it's still cool. That gave me an idea, if you can tell. And why not try stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy I'm trying stuff. Very happy. I like it. I'm not saying I didn't like it before because I definitely did. Who, know, who knows what's going to stay anyway? This looks like the perfect candidate for Rain-X. <laughs> totally want to grab some of that yellow. It's a lot more subtle once it mixes in there, I see now. I'm going to try not to consider that a mistake. make some really wicked iridescence. You can't see them, but you put them in the sun and they're just, they glisten, the gold glistens. Like never before, really and truly. Well, I'm using it more time than I thought I would, but as series as go, I like it. Got a little spot on the canvas drying out. I like the way the colors blend. I think I ought to torch before it's too late to see if anything happens. I think it comes down to torching or Rain-X. And the gold had gotten mixed earlier this afternoon and I know there were some bubbles in it, so I'd rather not have bubbles in my artwork. I can see that we're forming lots and lots of little tiny cells. I wonder if I have any paint left because I really like the idea of doing something with that, which will probably lead me at some point in the future to uh, want to put a ribbon pour over some of these. I don't want much of that to move. I really don't. And I'm not hating that. So I think I'm going to try, rather than swiping. Try to use the tubing. I think that blends pretty well, actually. It, it sort of adds another layer of interest. Oh, those colors are just so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why I did that. I guess I did it because I can. 
Same goes for that. It's a because I can moment. I haven't been doing things because I can for a while. I wonder if I can over here too. I actually have that color and I like it. Yeah, I need that little pop of purple sometimes. This makes me happy. Plus I had six minutes left last time I looked. I probably only got a couple now. I know I got pools of black paint. I haven't found that uh, this method requires any spirals to augment it yet. Or much of anything other than figuring out the best way to tip it. My spirals will come. They always do. Yeah, just that little bit of purple pops are pretty perfect. Just steal some paint. Put it right down over here. Try and put it down over there. I have to wipe that skewer off or it's going to carry everything else with it. Let's see if I want just a little bit more there. Not much. Okay, more than I intended, but that's okay. I'm going to skewer it out. I kind of want something up there. I haven't manipulated any of these yet. This is my first real permission to play, to manipulate. I want those things to all do something. It looks like they were planning on it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't ask me. Anthropomorph anthropomorphizing my painting if it's got personality. But you know what? I'm happy with that. It may not have like humongous cells. And I know that the Rain-X would bring cells. So if you use the Rain-X, get the original formula. Wait, I've got it right here. I'm not using it in this video, but you can. I think I just dropped some into the painting to tell you the truth. So you can see a pretty good amount of that. Now you can see it even better. I'm going to take a picture in a minute. Right now I'm going to say um, thank you so much for inspiring me to, uh, to play all the time. Because I love it. And um, it's very satisfying. You guys are, are very sweet and, and very kind and very appreciative. And I'll do this as long as I can until I can't afford to paint anymore. Which um, hopefully won't be in the near future. So help if you can. Everything's for sale. Everything you see needs to cure for a while, so that's probably not readily available. I see something I want to fix, but um, pretty. Yeah, I'm good with that. And now I'm going to go. It has a tail. It may have more than one tail. I think the, the nice thing about how thick that black is that um, you could make marks in it and it will still heal itself. I'm gone. Have a great one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.